Hey, Nathan here. Welcome to a new and exciting series covering a mono game. Now, I made a decision on my site recently to do no more x related stuff and to drop most of it. If you go to my website and look at all the series, you'll notice I only have a few series now. I dropped all my x stuff. The x networking series is not on my site. The XNA basic training is not on my site. All the all the XNA stuff will no longer be on my website. Uh, I've added it to my database just in case, but I really don't want to have that on my website anymore. Uh, a few things are there for you know the flocking artificial intelligence series that still has the XNA videos on there because that's the most recent. Other than that, no more x and stuff. I'm using Monogame. Okay, so Monogame is the the open source implementation of x and a and it's now kind of considered the successor to x and a Now that it's broken all ties to x and a the latest version no longer needs the x and a content pipeline. You do not need the x and a version installed. You do not need to have Visual Studio 2010 installed. They provide their own content pipeline now, so you do not need to have XNA installed. It is now officially the successor to XNA. And it's considered the successor because it's cross-platform and it works with, you know, Windows 8.1, obviously. It works with the Windows Store. And I'm assuming it will work with Windows 10 with the universal apps. And it works with the newer Visual Studios. Okay. I am using Visual Studio 2013. I'm using the Community Edition. That is free for, you know, a few criteria. If you meet any of the criteria, this is free. Just be sure to check the Microsoft's licensing to see if you qualify. I am a single developer and I do not make a million dollars a year, so I qualify. So I'm using the community edition. If you have 2012, you might be able to follow me. It's not that much different, but you won't be able to open my solution files. You might have to, you know, copy the CS files to your own project and things like that. So keep that in mind. All my project files will be in 2013. I do not have 2012 on my system, so I won't be able to help you if you have any issues with that. So just let me know if you have any issues. I do have a 2012 license that I can install if I need to. So just let me know in the video or on my forums if you need help. Otherwise, everything I will release for now is 2013. Speaking of Windows 10, Visual Studio 2015 and Windows 10, those both are just around the corner, probably this summer. When Visual Studio 2015 is released out of RC, when it is finished and fully available, I will upgrade to that immediately and provide all my project files as Visual Studio 2015. Okay, so this video, just like all my other series, the all these videos are the only reason I make them is to introduce you to the environment and talk about the series as a whole. I have XNA basic training and a whole bunch of XNA series, and Mono Game kind of extends on that. It's not that much different so this series in general is going to be a little bit faster than the other series i'm going to assume that you know a little bit of the concepts about x and a and if you don't you can go check out my x and a videos like i said it's not a completely different system what you learn from x and a you can easily adapt to mono game With that being said, I plan to do a little bit of basics here and there, you know, drawing a sprite to the screen and then moving a sprite, but I won't spend 
you know, five parts, like two hours talking about how to move using the keyboard. You know, it'll be a little bit quicker than that. It'll be like 13 minutes or something like that. All right, so let's go back to the website. This is the Monogame website, monogame.net. And what you want to do, once you have Visual Studio installed, I think it will support 2010, 2012, 2013, and 2015. Once you have any one of those installed, you'll get click Get Started, and you'll have a list of versions. Now, if you need a specific version, you can check that, but otherwise, you know, go with the latest version. There's no disadvantage of going with the latest one. So once you click that, you will have an option here to get the Visual Studio installer, and that is a executable. If you look at the bottom left of the screen, that is a .exe, so all you need to do is click that, and it will add it to the Visual Studio that you have. And I hit my microphone. I apologize if you heard a big bang or tap or something. So once you do that, you can start your Visual Studio and go to New Project, and you'll see Monogame on the list here. And there's all the project files that you can use. You can make a Windows, OpenGL, which is nice, a Store Project, and Windows Phone, Android, Linux, all these things that make Monogame much better than XNA. Okay, so I'm going to go here. It defaults to OneDrive. That's irritating. So if I go to Documents, Visual Studio 2013, Projects here. I do not have a Monogame Subversion repository yet, but this is Tutorial 0, so by the time I make Tutorial 1, I will create a Monogame repository where public has access to read everything. Now I'm just going to make a Tutorial 0 folder here. Introduction. Oh, misspelled that. Oh, did the same thing. All right, now I'm just going to call the project tutorial. And it's just going to be a monogame Windows project. And I'm just introducing you to the environment. You know, most of this will be familiar to you if you have ever used XNA in the past. You know, there's a game.cs file and a program.cs file. So all this stuff might be familiar to you. If we right-click here and go to view code, Now you might notice something a little bit different on my screen than what yours has. I'm using a, a good extension, a good thing that I highly recommend, and it's called ReSharper. I just pause it to pull up the website. I highly recommend this if you do any kind of work, heavy work in C Sharp or uh, Visual Basic. I highly recommend this. You can easily refactor your code. You can analyze stuff that you might be doing wrong, like you have a for each loop, a nested for each loop, and you really don't need to do all, all that kind of stuff. Um, just quick, easy ways to clean up your code a little bit. And as you use it, you'll learn a whole lot of stuff. You know, I've been using C-sharp for a while, and, you know, I learned some things while using that. I've used link a lot in the past, language integrated query, you know, convert link to code. I've used link a lot in the past, but there's a few things that I learned just from using this extension. There's a few additional things that you can do in link that I didn't know you could do. And I learned just by using this. So that's very nice. And you can keep your code, you know, if you're on a team, it's also helpful. Uh, you can keep your code standardized. So if you want all private stuff to have underscore in front of it, you can use that. You know, just like this is telling me to use uh, suggested name as underscore graphics. So if that's your coding style, you can go with that. You can change that how you want. But I highly recommend ReSharper. And uh, on that note, I have ReSharper Ultimate, which includes C++. So in my DirectX series, you'll also see ReSharper in that. All right, so I just wanted to discuss why, you know, this 
thing is here, why this is a little bit uh, lighter than this text, and why, why I have underlines here. So I just want to discuss that. All right, back to the series at hand. This is Monogame, and you will recognize this. If you have ever coded in XNA, this is the base game code it provides. And we will extend on this. I'm, I like to keep this file as clean as possible. So we will extend on this file. This is where everything starts. And if you actually hit F5, you can build and run it. As you see, we named our file tutorial. This is the monogame icon. It automatically provided that for us. And the color is blue. And the color you can change in the draw method here. So if I change it to black and then press F5, now it's a black background game. So all this stuff is familiar to you. The only thing that might be confusing is the new content pipeline. And we'll discuss this next tutorial where we discuss how to draw something on the screen. But this is the new monogame content pipeline. It's a little bit different, but not that complex. So that shouldn't be that big of a deal. Other than that, it's, you know, it's the open source version of XNA. So, you know, we have Sprite Batch. We have graphics device. You know, we have all these things that we're familiar with. All right, so this is the first episode of the series, you know, Tutorial Zero. And just like all my series, I like to introduce you to stuff and how to get started. You know, we talked about how to download the file. So how do you get started with it? So that's what I like to do on the first tutorials of the series. And then Tutorial 1 will obviously discuss, you know, actual content. All right, so I hope you will enjoy the series. And I'd like to take a few minutes to discuss the website in general. As I mentioned, I will no longer be providing any more XNA stuff. It'll all be Monogame. It'll all be Visual Studio 2013 from here on out. And that includes my DirectX stuff. But for the last few months, I've been working really hard to get my website up, and it is finally up and running. And since I have been working on that for several months, I haven't released any videos in the past for a while. So I plan to do at least 10, hopefully 20 tutorials in the next few weeks. I'm hoping for a tutorial a day. And I plan to keep that up. You know, I plan to record a giant bunch of tutorials at once and then release tutorials. You know, if I, you know, want to take a break making videos, I'll have at least some tutorials ready to be uploaded for you guys. So hopefully there won't be any more large amount of downtime. You know, if I take a week vacation, you know, things might slow down a few times here and there. But hopefully things will not be as slow as they have been. And if I want to work on a feature for my website for a few days, I'll at least have some tutorials ready to upload. You know, I might drop it down to once a week again. But this tutorial is an introduction. I just wanted to get this video out there. So a few days from now, I will start releasing more and more and more tutorials. Uh, I'm just I'm gonna take the next few days to record as many tutorials as I can, and then save those up and then start releasing them a few days from now. So that's the whole idea of the website in general and my content in general. I plan to finish my DirectX series in the next few videos on that, so probably in the next couple weeks that series will be done, and I will, will work on a new DirectX series covering the new DirectX 11 and 2D. 
I plan on making a couple of mono game series. One of them right now is obviously this one, the introduction and the basics to mono game. Quickly going over that and going to the new games. Eventually, I plan to work on Sprite Kit and OS X iOS stuff on the Mac side. So I plan to talk a little bit about the Mac side development. And by the time Windows 10 comes out and Visual Studio 2015 comes out and the new mono game comes out that supports universal apps, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about the universal apps in general once that comes out. I'll be upgraded into Windows 10 and Visual Studio 2015 as soon as they come out. So I'm going to stay on the edge of the latest versions of stuff. You know, the Community Edition, with the Community Edition, and if you qualify for the Community Edition, there's no reason to stick to a specific version of Visual Studio anymore. Unless there is something like you need an out, if you're using a plugin or something that's not being updated anymore. Like if it only works for Visual Studio 2015 and you use that day and day, you're obviously going to be stuck with Visual Studio 2015 or 2012 or whatever. So I have no, I have nothing that requires a specific Visual Studio version anymore. I used to have 2010 on here just because of XNA, but now that I don't need XNA anymore, I never installed XNA on this new system, so I just have Visual Studio 2013 on here. All right, last but not least, I want to talk about something really important. I will be updating my site in the next few weeks, and I will have a schedule section of my site. That way you will know what tutorials are coming up and when to expect them. Like I said, I plan to have a lot of tutorials in the bag ready to be uploaded. So... You know, if I'm sick, I don't want to record when I'm sick, so I want to have videos available for when I'm sick. I can just upload it and then go back to bed or have some soup or whatever I need to do. So I plan to have a lot of tutorials queued up, ready to go, and then I plan to have a schedule based off that. But of course, I need to get that my tutorial bag ready so I can release a schedule. All right, so enough babbling, enough with this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will enjoy all the new tutorials coming out. Uh, let me know your comments, what you have suggested. Let me know what you want to me to cover on Mono Game. Oh, and something really important. I plan to do some 3D stuff. I'm going to get the 3DS, 3D Studio Max. I'm going to get the, now that they have that as a service now, I don't have to spend $3,500 up front for that, you know. I can have just a couple months doing a simple 3D series for a couple months, and all I have to spend is $300. How cool is that? So I'll be discussing 3D stuff soon. i got to get some of these other series finished first and get the some of these series going first. So stay tuned for that. I'll let you know as it gets close when it will come out. But I thought a lot of you would be happy to hear that because I've had a lot of requests to do 3D stuff. So keep that in mind. And like I was saying, post in the comments what you want me to see or what you want me to do in Mono Game. What you want me to cover. If you have any questions on how to do this thing, just let me know. And I'll try to add it to my schedule. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video where we will discuss the content pipeline. See you next time.